Hello, this is Mark from My Keys to Music. Thanks for joining me on this video. Today we're talking about the Nord Wave 2, a new offering from Clavia. This Nord keyboard is a performance synthesizer and it does quite a bit. So let's take a look at it in this video. Head over to www.nordkeyboards.com and check out the Nord Wave 2. This is a new offering. This is January of 2020 and they just announced this keyboard and it should be released, actually available later in the year. As to when, we're not sure. Uh, it seems that even the retailers don't know when to expect a keyboard like this, but generally speaking, it's first or second quarter of the year. The Nord Wave 2 is a powerful four-part performance synthesizer combining virtual analog synthesis, samples, FM and wavetable with an intuitive layer focused interface. I'll break this down a little bit more and it'll make more sense as we move along. With 48 voice polyphony, yes, you heard that right, 48 voices. That takes the record for any synthesizer that Nord created as far as polyphony goes. Now this voice polyphony is not to be confused with the piano polyphony you might hear about on the Nord Stage 3 or the Nord Piano 4 or any of those other keyboards. This is the synthesizer polyphony or the sample polyphony, the sample area of the Nord keyboard. So the Nord Wave 2 offers outstanding sonic possibilities with advanced layering and tweaking on the fly. All right, let me zoom down to the details of each of this and let me break it down uh, and I'll walk you through this new offering. With four independent synthesizers in one, the Nord Wave 2 offers exceptional possibilities for layering both classic waveforms and samples. Now, I want to pause on something here. Four independent synthesizers. They're calling them layers. Sometimes manufacturers call them voices, but you can play four things at once, or you can mix and match, and you can even mix them so that their volumes are different. So an example would be you could play a clarinet on one layer. You could have a synthesizer sample on another layer. You could have a straight sine wave on a third layer. And you could have, let's say, a piccolo or a flute or a mellotron on the fourth layer. And you can mix and match all of that. It's truly like getting four synthesizers in one. This is probably what makes this the most powerful and most exciting for me in particular, because even on the Nord Stage 3, you get panel A and B, allowing you to play two voices at once from the same sound engine, whereas this is going to allow you to have four voices. You'll be able to do synthesizer type voicings as well as those samples. All right, so let's keep going here. Dedicated OLED displays for program and oscillator selections provide an excellent overview when shaping your sounds. The wide range of performance features and instantly tweakable hands-on effects makes the Wave 2 our most versatile performance synthesizer ever. Sounds like it might be, for sure. A monitor mode displays your settings for the amp envelope and filters in the program display for better overview and control. So they're giving you details in those screens as you're tweaking the controls and as you're moving around, those screens are constantly changing, giving you updates as to what you're doing and what your settings are. The Wave 2 features a program layer section and faders for easily controlling the volume or pan for all four layers at once. And that's what I was mentioning before. I think this is probably the most compelling feature for me because you get so much flexibility to be able to turn one of those layers on or off. Um, you can mix the volumes and there's even a group option there allowing you to group multiple layers together so that they can have the same influence over, let's say, a filter or over various aspects so you can group them. We'll read about that here actually right now. Group mode. The new group feature allows you to group two, three, or four layers and let them share the same filter, envelope, arpeggiator, LFO, and effect settings. Perfect when creating complex multi-layered sounds that can be edited as one coherent sound. This kind of possibility just hasn't been available before. It's, uh, you can consider this sort of a whole new way of thinking uh, as far as Nord programmability goes. Okay, oscillator section. The oscillator section for each of the four layers offers four modes. We have an analog mode, a wavetable mode, FM, and samples. It's easily browsed with our new direct category mode. The oscillator control features additional control over shape, sync, and detune. If some of this sounds all foreign to you, what you might want to do is go check out www.mykeystomusic.com and take my Synthesizer Fundamentals course. That's a course that's offered through the prism of the Nord Stage 3. The Synthesizer on the Nord Stage 3 um, is an advanced beast itself, and I provide a free course to get you started with understanding those terms and the idea behind synthesis.
So it's called Synthesizer Fundamentals. Go check that out. In the future, I might have one through the prism of this new Nord Wave 2. So you get the saw, pulse, pulse width, sine, square, and basic tuning controls. So what this does is they've sampled a analog waveform. In other words, they've pre-recorded it, built it into this keyboard, and allow you to play it back. Uh, and that's what they mean by virtual analog, because they're taking, uh, they're virtualizing the analog sounds of those waveforms, and they are reproducing them here on the keyboard, and then you can um, add effects to them, you can filter them, you can add the LFO and modulate them. There's just a ton you can do, but you're starting with a basic virtual analog waveform. And then there's different types of waveforms, and that's what they're talking about here. So we have the shape type waveforms where the oscillator control will alter the shape of the waveform. You have this thing called multi two, where waveforms are combined with the oscillator control. So you can combine multiplying two sine waves or a sine wave and a triangle and a saw and a sine wave. Um, and you can mix and match. Then you have a sync, which is another way to synchronize the configuration so that the waveform starts in a certain area and you can have those in sync. And then you have noise. Now here it says white noise, but in the specifications, it actually says white noise and pink noise, which I think is an interesting thing. So maybe they just forgot the word pink on this particular, because when you go to the comparison chart here, uh, where it compares the Nord Wave with the Nord Lead A1, and you go down here, it says white and pink, and that's under the Wave 2. So interesting little tidbit there. Samples include high quality samples from our Nord Sample Library 3.0, as well as the possibility to add your own custom samples using the Nord Sample Editor 3.0, which was just released. In fact, that was actually released on the day that this was announced, so both of them sort of were announced at the same time. You can also use embedded sample presets for instantly playable dynamic sounds or sculpt your own. So let's just take a quick pause there and take a look at the sound libraries, which is something that Nord has offered for years. And you have this thing called the Nord Sample Library, which is fully playable here on the Nord Wave 2. So you can introduce and record your own samples, or you can take from any of the pre-recorded ones here. And there's a ton to choose from, and they all are high quality and well-organized and very effective at the end of the day. You have voices, you have synthesizers. Essentially, these are reproductions of real instruments, whether it be acoustic instruments or old electronic instruments or even pianos. They're reproduced where you can then take those samples then enhance them in your own way, either with the effects or the filters, or modulate them with the LFO, the low frequency oscillator, all kinds of things you can do, just offering you an endless uh, array of soundscapes and creative opportunities. All right, let's keep going on this. We talked about wavetable type waveforms and FM type configurations. So you'll get a lot of keyboards out there that ha are specialized in one of these types of sound generation. Um, and then you'll get some that do mix and match, but Nord sort of takes all four. You have the pre-recorded samples from their library. You have the pre-recorded samples from your library, your own home, home user samples, if you will. Then you have wave table types and the FM. So it's sort of like uh, a really nice combination of all of those technologies together. Then you have this thing called Unison, which allows you to stack uh, the oscillators. It's sort of an effect that gives you the idea that you're stacking multiple oscillators, really thickening your sound. And then you can use the super waves, which are pre-recorded samples as well. Uh, think of it, super wave as multiple squares or multiple saw waves all combined uh, in such a way that it gives you this really fat sound. The Nord Stage 3 has a lot of this technology built in as well. And if you watch any of my videos, I have a whole uh, playlist of learning the synth on the stage three. And if you go through that, you'll understand just about everything I'm talking about here because I covered all in that series on YouTube, as well as mykeystomusic.com, where I have a pro course if you're uh, interested in learning more about your Nord Stage 3 or your Nord Electro 6. And soon, when, when I get my hands on it, the Nord Wave 2. There'll be a course on that for sure. Absolutely for sure. And then we have the filter section. There's the traditional classic 12 and 24 dB low pass, high pass, and high pass and low pass filter, band pass filter, etc., etc. They also have the mini Moog filter as well. And this thing is particularly exciting. They have a full blown ADSR, which, call, which is called a four pole envelope generator, if you will. And 
Here we have the attack, the decay, the sustain, and the release, all in, as separate knobs, providing you with maximum flexibility or near maximum flexibility over your envelope. This would have to do with the volume, so that's the amp envelope, what you hear over time as you push a key and hold a key and let go of a key, that's what the envelope dictates. And you get four uh, knobs for that. Traditionally, Nord provided two or three knobs for that same effort. And there's a little less flexibility when you have less knobs. So having four knobs is better and more traditional, what you'd consider more traditional synthesis to have a four pole envelope generator happening there. So that uh, works for the filter as well as the amp envelope. And then you have morphing. There's a wide variety of morph options. Let me show you a picture of the morph. You can morph your velocity, basically how hard you strike the notes. Then you have the wheel. So that wheel, how, wh what you want that wheel to do, whether it affects the filter or the LFO rate, let's say. You have the pedal, so a control pedal can be morphed, as well as the aftertouch, which is how hard you push while holding the notes. As you hold the notes and you push down, that's aftertouch. So they have an advanced polyphonic arpeggiator with gate. So not only can you mix and match your arpeggiator patterns, instead of it being a repetitive pattern with a single pattern, these are patterns that are a little bit more complex. So they call this the poly mode is a polyphonic arpeggiator that will retrig all held keys, either straight or patterned, featuring different inversions for exciting harmonic variations. So I'm very anxious to see and hear what that sounds like. They have a gate mode. Uh, which chops your sound into a rhythmic pattern with adjustable depth. There's a lot of modern music today that's uh, being played through gates, and, and gate will provide a rhythmic pattern to your sound. And this gate mode will be a nice added feature, so I'm anxious to see what that's all about. Uh, we have a master clock, which allows you to sync your LFO, your arpeggiator, with the various effects. That's pretty traditional. There's a master clock on the Nord Stage 3 as well. Tap tempo, so you tap the tempo along with the music, and it'll synchronize it that way. Uh, let's see what else we have. We have uh, the modulation effects, tremolo, pan, ring modulator, chorus, ensemble, vibe effects, rate, and amount control. All effects are controllable via the control pedal, which we talked about, and can also be synchronized with the master clock, which we talked about. Now, what we didn't talk about is the fact that each one of these effects, or the group of effects that were just mentioned here, are adjustable per layer. So your clarinet could have a delay. Your saxophone on layer two could also have a delay of a different type, as well as, let's say, some EQ and maybe some ring modulation. Then on layer three, your waveform, let's say a saw wave, could have no delay, but it has something like panning left and right. So all of those can be mixed and matched. You don't have to have one effect per one layer. Every layer can have any effect. The effects section include a tremolo, pan, ring modulation, chorus, ensemble, and vibe. The EQ section includes a bass and treble control or a parametric one band control. There's a drive effect for tube distortion. The delay selection includes rate and time. You have the option to tap tempo, also provided as analog mode, stereo ping pong, and of course a dry wet mix. The delay speed can be synchronized with the master clock and includes feedback loop effects, which are chorus, vibe, and ensemble, and feedback filters, HP, LP, and BP, standing for high pass, low pass, and band pass filtering. The reverb selection with five algorithms includes booth, room, stage, hall, and the brand new cathedral, plus an option to have those run in either dark or bright settings. And then there's a chorale mode, which is modulated reverb. All right, having four identical, equally powerful synthesizers at once opens for exceptional layering possibilities. And again, I can't emphasize how powerful that is. The split mode offers three split points providing four zones with optional crossfades. The flexible hold functionality lets you latch and hold slots independently in the background while playing something else on top. So imagine an arpeggiated sequence in your left hand and in your right hand playing pad sounds independent of that sequence, but the sequence is sort of on autopilot playing by itself in that KB hold mode. And then you're playing along, or you can hold, you know, zone three and two, and then zone one is free for you to play on. Tons of possibilities. I can only imagine what you'll be able to do. With the kind of uh, mechanism that we have set up here, it's going to make it easier for musicians to imitate advanced songs 
where you know they need either more hands or more area of the keyboard to uh, layer some uh, pre-recorded samples and or some uh, performance settings so they can pull off these advanced songs. So I think this particular keyboard uh, is going to be very interesting to see what we can do with it. It's got the, the traditional MIDI things that Nord normally offers, a MIDI over USB. The Nord Wave 2 features a 61 key semi-whited waterfall keybed with aftertouch. And I'm leaning towards, I love the waterfall keybeds. Um, you can play very quickly on them. And if you grew up with synthesizers uh, most of your life, then you'll appreciate the semi-weighted waterfall keyboard. Just love that keyboard. So if you want to learn more, um, what I recommend is you can read through this. You can look at the pictures and of course watch the videos. But if you want to learn more about the nuts and bolts of the synthesis part of it, a lot of this is sort of duplicated, a lot of it in principle, and a lot of it is actually uh, available to you right now on YouTube. Just watch my um, Nord Stage 3 Learning the Synth videos. I have, I think there's six or seven of those um, stacked in a series. If you go through that whole series, it'll take you some time. It'll be a little investment. But in the end, you'll learn a lot more about how the Nord Stage 3 works and the synthesizer. And a lot of that, I'd say 80% of that, is transferable to the Nord Wave 2. So uh, as you're boning up for getting ready to receive your Nord Wave 2 or getting really anxious to look at what it can do, just watch those videos. You can also consider looking at videos that I provide or courses that I provide on mykeystomusic.com. That's the Nord Wave 2. I'll have a lot more to come. As soon as I get my hands on my own, I'll be heading to the NAMM show in 2020 here, <coughs> excuse me, in a couple days. I'm a big fan of the Nord products, and this one uh, I'm probably the most excited about. The Stage 3 is also an exciting keyboard. Actually, the Electro 6 uh, has been great as well. But this Nord Wave 2 I'm particularly excited about because so much of what I do is to try to duplicate sounds from famous songs or just interesting soundscapes. And I think that's made easier when you have four voices. So stay tuned for more. This is Mark from My Keys to Music. Thanks for watching.